So now that I've got my demo environment up, what I'd like to show you is how we can use the Trinity Replicate to consume data from a traditional Oracle database and turn that into a stream to uh, load data in real time into a Kafka, uh, a Kafka topic running on Confluent. So I'll go to Manage Endpoint Connections, and here I'm going to create a new target endpoint for Confluent. So this one I'll call Confluent. And I'm going to select target and just define Kafka. Uh, in terms of the way we work, uh, you can actually, uh, within the Trinity Replicate console, select any number of different targets that you want, want to load data to and from. So here, in this case, I'm using Kafka as my target. Um, I don't need to define my broker server, and uh, that will be running on a specific IP address. And then I need to specify what type of authentication I'll use. In this case, I don't have any authentication set up, but I can use certificate-based authentication with SSL or Kerberos authentication. For the messaging handling, I can actually then go and browse that Confluent uh, environment, select the demo uh, topic that I'm going to be loading my data to, and test my connection to make sure everything is working. Now that that's working, we'll define a source. In this case, we'll use Oracle as the source. We could create uh, an endpoint that allows me to select from any number of different sources as well here. As you can see, Trinity supports a wide range of different source environments. Uh, however, in this case, we're going to be using an Oracle data source. So let me go ahead and test that. It looks like everything's working. So with my source and target endpoints set up, I now need to create a task to perform the data loading process. So I'll call this task Oracle to Confluent. And then I'm going to select here to only do apply changes for now. So we're basically turning on the, capture, the change data capture process from Eternity on an existing Oracle server that's been processing uh, 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 transactions uh, coming in. The hit OK, and this allows me to then drag my Oracle source into my task definition, and then drag Confluent uh, Kafka as the target. Uh, at this point, I can open up the table selection, browse my source schema, and select which tables. I can use an include and exclude with pattern matching to select which tables I want, but in this case, I'm going to select four specific tables, add that to my uh, definition, and when I click OK, I'm ready to begin the data loading process. Uh, Trinity also offers some additional capabilities, including global transformations, which will allow you to create some rules, whether you want to rename schemas or rename the tables that you're, that you're uh, consuming, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, or add columns or drop columns or convert data types. We also have the ability to drill into specific tables, uh, like for instance, if I go into the employees table, I could perform some transformations, including adding additional columns or using the filter capabilities to um, include or exclude data based on certain criteria. However, in this case, I want to just load my data as it's coming from the transactional data database and stream that directly into Kafka. So let's save that and click Run to begin the process. And what you'll see now is Trinity Replicate will switch from design mode into monitor mode. And here uh, in the change processing tab, we'll see that it's actually ma uh, monitoring the source database and reading the transaction logs or the redo logs in this case uh, to check for any incoming changes. So if I bring up a small utility that I have here um, to, uh, to take a look at my target, uh, I've got this Kafka tool that's connected to my Confluent uh, uh, instance running here uh, in my demo environment. And if I browse my topics, I'll see that there's a demo topic here, and I'll do a quick refresh. You'll see that the message count here is currently zero. It's a little bit hard to see, uh, but uh, right now there's uh, basically no data. We can actually browse the data here as well uh, by doing a, a retrieve messages, and you can see that there's no data there. Sorry, there is a little bit of data there left over from a previous demo. However, right now there is no data in that topic. So what I'm going to do now is uh, switch back to the Trinity Replicate console and use another small utility that I have for inserting uh, and creating some data or some changes to the source. So now I'm going to go ahead and click uh, the insert here. So I've got 100 new rows coming in. And you'll see that Trinity quickly uh, recognizes uh, those incoming changes and has already processed them as inserts. 
So going back to my Kafka tool, if I do a quick run, now we'll see that those records have been uh, added. A quick check of the properties will show me that there are 100 new messages that came in. Uh, and this is the actual data. And in this case, what we're looking at is an inserted record. So you can see the uh, name of the schema that it's coming from uh, as part of uh, a task, which is the Oracle to Confluent task that I created. It's uh, looking at the employees table uh, within the schema HR, and you've got an operation of I, which is an insert. And then as I scroll over, I have the actual data that's been, uh, that's been loaded here, uh, all the way from the primary key down to the rest of the data, which is a new employee that was created here. And each of these message, messages represents a single insert because we're doing it in a transactional manner here where every record uh, is being treated as a separate transaction or a separate message. What I'm going to do is go back now to my little tool and I'm going to do a couple of increases here in salaries so we can take a look at what happens when we perform an update to uh, these operations. Um, and as was mentioned by Gwen, one of the things that you want to do when you're consuming data as messages is to have that data actually stored in, for, uh, in the form of a history where you know what happened to these specific records, right? Um, not necessarily only a single update might have happened, multiple updates might have happened. So what, um, what, what we do is capture all of these in a transactional basis. So I can go back now to my Kafka environment run my messages again. Now we can see uh, a quick refresh. We've got 300 total messages here. And if I look at my latest data, I, I can see that the same task actually now had an operation of you, which represents an update. And if I scroll across, what I'll be able to see is what was actually updated. Uh, in the data uh, definition, we'll see that salary uh, is now at 1071. And if we scroll along further in this definition, we'll see a before update uh, uh, of the data, which is a before image. And the salary at that point was 1061. So all I did was increase the salary of this specific employee by 10. And this is reflected as part of the history here as, uh, as a single message within the Kafka environment. Um, just to keep in mind that, you know, Trinity is only capturing changes once they're committed to the source. And we do this for by reading the transaction logs, uh, and that allows us to quickly and efficiently turn your mainstream databases into a stream uh, and load that data into Kafka, enabling you to basically uh, extract uh, uh, value out of your data and make that as seamless and easy as possible to help you consume streams uh, and load them into Kafka. So that's all I wanted to cover from a demo perspective. At this point, I'm going to switch back to the presentation and we'll continue from there.